Greetings to you all and welcome to today's Kennedy Center Couch Concerts National Spotlight. I am Amy Miller, Director of Programming and Education at the Jay and Susie Gouge Performing Arts Center at Auburn University in Auburn, Alabama. I want to thank our colleagues at the Kennedy Center for their invitation to curate and host this National Spotlight. We're thrilled to be sharing a view into the creative and artistic side of our vibrant state of Alabama. I sit here in our beautiful lobby of the Gouge Center where I am social distancing. We are based on the campus of Auburn University in East Alabama, and we opened our doors last August. We are committed to presenting artists from around the country and the globe to our students, our community, and our state, and are also committed to celebrating artists of Alabama and the South. I want to raise up music and the arts as a tool for uniting all, a tool that reminds us of our humanity and of the strength we as individuals and as communities hold through the power of compassion. I want to acknowledge these epic times we are facing. We stand and we play music today in solidarity with communities around the country. Our individuality, our diversity is what makes our country strong and vibrant. We must cherish and celebrate that. So we want to do just that today with our national spotlight by showcasing three artists from three different regions of Alabama. We lift up these artists who are doing great work in this great state as we stand on the shoulders of many generations that have come before us. And we acknowledge the multitude of identities that make up the stories of the people of this land. We start our program today in Birmingham. I want to thank our community partner, Seasick Records, for also helping us stream this segment today. They are an independent record store that supports local artists and celebrates the diversity of the thriving city of Birmingham. And our first artist based in Birmingham is LaShondra Hemphill, AKA Renee Soul. She's a beat maker, producer, and DJ, ingeniously crafting sound art with dusty drums, soulful samples, and spacey synths. She's also an educator focusing on boom bap feminism and is shifting power in an industry that is male dominated by empowering and inspiring young girls and women via the art of boom bap. Thanks for being here. Well, please welcome Renee Soul.
y'all for being here with me in my weird spacey space. <laughs> y'all still with me?
Renee Sol, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy. Peace. Thank you, Renee Sol, for kicking off this program and for getting us into your brilliant groove. So fun. Thank you. And thank you for all the work you do for our youth and our communities around Alabama. Now we travel up to the northwest corner of the state. We visit Florence Muscle Shoals, an historic place that values great songs and great musicians and is home to the famous Muscle Shoals sound, which has played a great soul in shaping the history of popular music. I want to thank our second community partner, Single Lock Records, who are live streaming with us today. 
They are a label based in Florence Muscle Shoals that lifts up Alabama and Southern artists and are working with our next artist, the Pine Hill Haints, to release their new album. So the Pine Hill Haints, formed more than 20 years ago out of a cult of skateboarders who love music. Over the years, they've toured the globe and have become a part of the fabric of Alabama and Muscle Shoals music through the sharing of their very own style, Alabama ghost music. So please welcome with me, Katie and Jamie Barrier of the Pine Hill Haints. Awesome, thank you so much. And uh, thanks for listening. And uh, thanks to the Kennedy Arts Center and the Goja Arts Center as well. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. This next song we're going to play is called The Satchel Page Blues. And uh, we put out a little 45 record of it on our label Arkham, but uh, it's going to be on the full length. The single lock and Muscle Shoals is there. And yeah, the Shoals is a soul town. It's, it's soul music is kind of the core up there. And uh, we're, uh, we love soul music. We love W.C. Handy, the father of the blues as well. And... Uh, his impact on the scene. And this is, but this one goes down to Mobile. It's about Satchel Page at a Mobile. He pitched in the Negro Leagues and uh, he was possibly the best pitcher to ever throw a baseball. And for years and years, they wouldn't let him in the major leagues. And so we wrote a song about it. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I blow your mind. How long will you leave me out? You won't even let me try. Give me a chance. I blow your mind. I'm 
standing on the mound in the pouring rain. I got a ball and glove, I'm ready to play the game. Set him up, I'm not going down, I do it every time. Give me a chance, I blow your mind. This next song we're going to feature the singing saw and uh, it's a song we wrote uh, we, want, we, we have a lot of songs about Halloween and uh, this was a, a Halloween tune that we had written and uh, I remember playing Waverly Alabama the night that literally I rode I went surfing that day and I surfed Halloween day and uh, it was I don't know and that night we played a show in Waverly, and if you haven't ever been there, it's the best place in the world to go and play music. And uh, there's usually a little campfire somewhere, and start, it's all starry, and it's just the best atmosphere. And we'll try to capture it with some of this. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the singing saw is an old Appalachian instrument, and uh, they say a hundred years ago in the 1920s, there were millions of them sold. Uh, 
probably most of you all's grandparents owned a singing saw or played the singing but this saw. This isn't one. And uh, yeah, this is a norm. <laughs> this came from the hardware store. When we say singing saw, it's best to get an ordinary saw and make your own bow with. Uh, that's that's made with fishing line and rosin, but. Uh, you can do it with a fiddle bow or a viola bow or whatever. There's a million ways you can make your own bows. But uh, it's from an era when music wasn't quite as commercialized and everybody played their own music for free on the, on the porch. So uh, we'll do another tune here for you featuring the singing song. Yeah. tune for you and like wait in the water the origins of these songs are unknown and uh, they probably came across the ocean at some point but uh, this is a fiddle tune I've played many many a time at different fish bars and, and barns and stuff and uh, most fiddle tunes have, are slowly going extinct because they're set to a rhythm that goes through a particular dance and so whenever that type of dance dies out a lot of times the fiddle tune goes out with it but uh, anyway, this is just a regular old reel. There's a million reels going on out there, so we'll give you a chance to it.
got the pressure man, you know she knows the gas pits in the little cat die. Little cat, little cat, don't you cry. not sure if that might be 20 if it is uh thanks so much for tuning in and thanks for listening yeah, to thanks. everybody appreciate it Thank you both for your tunes and your commitment to sharing awesome stories about Alabama through your music. Now we're headed down to East Alabama and I want to thank our third community partner, Standard Deluxe, for helping us get out the word about this program today. Based in Waverly, Alabama, Standard Deluxe has established itself as a guidepost for creative arts in the Southeast, including a renowned print shop and magical outdoor music events amidst the tall Alabama, Alabama pines. So our final artist, of the program today is based just next door in Opelika, Larry Mitchell. He's a Grammy award-winning producer, engineer, and performer who has toured with the world with uh, playing guitar with well-known artists. His sound weaves guitar textures that showcase his virtuosity as a solo artist and as an ensemble player. Please welcome Larry Mitchell. Hey everybody, welcome. It's a heavy time in our country, and I just want to say that sometimes you just have to reflect, look in there, and hopefully communicate. So, if you can, close your eyes and drift with me. I'm gonna play some music. This is called Reflections.
This is called The Traveler.
All right. I uh, stepped on a funky button in the beginning of that first song. It took me forever to get out of it. It felt like a week to get out of that. Um, I'm going to do a piece right now that uh, it's written at a time when um, you know, dealing with lots of friends passing away. And uh, I'm just going to do it. The meaning is a little different. But I'm just going to do it for where we are right now. This is called Unforgotten. Thank you. 
Okay, um, trying to make sure I don't hit the wrong button again. Originally, I see, I can see in the distance a lot of, a lot of people I know on here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, let's get to see some new people, some new faces. New, uh, what do you call it, um, profiles. I hope that this break today of the arts by the Kennedy Center and the Goosh Performing Arts Center helps everybody. Sometimes it's good to just take a little break from the heaviness. Drift, reflect. And then open the conversation back up. We have to communicate. I was gonna do a different song, but I get um, over the last couple days quite a few people asking me what I was gonna play today. And I said I was gonna do one acoustic song, I was gonna do a different song. But um, everybody asked me about this song. Everyone that I spoke with about, about performing today. So I'm going to do it. This is called Tears of a Woman. This is my third record, which came out in 1995. Tears of a Woman.
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. That's my set. I want to give a special thanks to Amy Miller, the Gouge Performing Arts Center, the Kennedy Center, um, and Ethan Rail, the club uh, here in Opelika that I go play at. And um, yeah, Waverly, the Waverly. Uh, I've played the Waverly Boogie. I played the 280 Boogie in Waverly, Alabama, twice now, and uh, it's always great. Uh, always a great time. So if you're in near East Alabama, stop on in at the uh, Eighth and Rail, or look up when the uh, the boogies happen. And come see some music. Hear some music. There's some great artists here. Thank you for uh, sharing your time with us. Especially, thank you for sharing your time with me. And um, <laughs> it's so crazy. We are in the middle of a pandemic. Wash your hands. Practice social distancing. Be kind to your neighbor. They may have to go get your toilet paper. We're in the middle of, of a heavy times throughout the country in almost every city. I think it's actually in every city in America. Be kind. Listen, everybody wants to be heard. And uh, I'll see you guys out there. Thank you. Thank you, Larry, for your grounding and uplifting energy today. It's an absolute delight to witness you play. So that's it for us today. Thank you for joining us for this national spotlight and celebrating artists of Alabama. We hope you enjoyed the music and learned a little about the cool happenings across our vibrant state. On behalf of the Jay and Susie Gouge Performing Arts Center at Auburn University, I want to again thank the wonderful Kennedy Center team for inviting us to be part of their couch concert series. Please stay safe and please stay passionate about the vital change needed across our country and our globe. And in the appropriate Auburn fashion, War Eagle. Thank you. <laughs>